All right. So now I'm going to explain in brief about how we need to prepare for your interview and for your micro presentation. Is it all clear? So this is the major aspect which we'll be covering up for today. Okay. So now the major seven important parameters which we're going to discuss for today is about self introduction, common interview based questions, course related questions, academic questions, campus based questions, general knowledge and current affairs, and general preparation. These are few important parameters that you need to basically focus. We'll be starting with the introduction, course related questions, campus based questions and micro presentation. So we'll be going in one particular order. Just make sure that you're writing down the questions if you want and at least write down the keywords. Do not try to buy heart for the same thing. So what are these common interview based questions? See guys, common interview based questions are those kind of questions, you know, which basically means that in any interview I go, for example, Pavan is going for Christ interview. Pavan is going for Symbiosis interview. Pavan is going for NMIMS interview. For example, a uh, couple of you have been going for IIM ka interviews over here. Irrespective of any interviews you're going in this world, common interview based questions are pakka fixed. No matter what happens, it is fixed. I have literally legit taken from the previous year questions, gone to professors and I've just come and just given you this particular delivery content. It's very simple. And I'll tell you if you're studying this, this is something a very big important goal mine for you. Starting with self introduction. Now I'll tell you everyone, okay. Now why self introduction is very much important is because when you introduce yourself in an interview, they'll understand what kind of personality you are. Clear? Strength and weakness. When I tell my major strength, that particular interview will understand that, okay, this particular person is good under this particular strength. This particular person has these two major weakness and I'll tell you how you need to basically answer for all of these particular kind of parameters. Strength and weakness, how you basically need to answer your strength and weakness that we'll be covering up in much depth. And uh, where do you see yourself in three years from now? What are your career goals? What makes you unique to be in Christ and why should we select you? Now, starting with the second important question, strength and weakness. I basically tell my strength. Dear, yeah, it's all of you guys, very simple formula, okay? When Pavan is telling the strength, he will tell the strength plus various apply that particular concept in his particular life. For example, if I was in an interview panel and if you all were my interviewers, I would have been said that, sir, my two major strengths, my first major strength is about I have a very good leadership skills. Because during my school days, I was the university head and I have been hosted different kind of state as well as national level conferences for the same. My second major strength is about I'm a very good team player. I love sports and my favorite uh, sports is about football. And in football, I've been secured so and so particular position. And I've been demonstrated my particular skill in terms of training my team to be very efficient to handle any kind of uncertainties within the course of match. Got it. So whenever I tell my strength, for example, if Abhirami is telling her strength, so she will tell in such a way that where, what her major strength is, plus where she applied in her life. Now I'll tell you why. Everyone will tell her, okay, my, my strength is about, I have a very good time management, I have very good leadership skills. For example, Sabrina is also going to tell that, okay, I'm very good in terms of, you know, organizing skills. I'm very good in terms of handling the things. If everyone tells the same pattern, how can you be different in an interview? Is that clear? So you will tell where you exactly applied in your life. When you're doing that, interviewer will always remember that, okay, this candidate has something very much special, no? Okay, wow, very good. So that means that that particular instances will be really connected into the mind of an interviewer. Clear? An interview, see, I'll tell you one thing, okay? Do you, you remember, there are in your school days and all, there are certain boring teachers, okay? I literally don't like these teachers who just like, they'll ask you to go by hard disk. Okay, they like, just go by hard disk. And they will just read what is in the PPT and they'll ask you to just go by hard disk. Have all of you faced this particular thing in your life? Okay, I literally used to hate them. I literally legit used to hate them. But there are some teachers, you know, I literally love them. And I'm a person who legit like anyone who basically tells the story and explain. I literally love those teachers. And I remember all kind of stories they basically tell. Now I'll tell you one important psychology over here. Whenever you answer something with the power of a story, interviewer will always be remembering you. And that will always give you a grace points. Is that clear? No, yes. Hey, I'm so sorry, Renata is over here. So yeah. So Renata, I'll just take up the weakness part and I'll just give it to you. Okay, last thing. 
Oh, perfect. So this is your major thing. Okay. Whenever you're going to tell your strength, you'll also tell that where you're basically applied in your life. And that particular aspect will always be remembering subconsciously in the mind of whom and interviewer. Now I will be telling you whenever I tell a weakness, you know, I literally hate people tell that you no know, weakness. For example, I like sleeping a lot. I'm not very productive. Never tell your weakness like that. You know why? Whenever you tell your weakness, you tell a weakness in such a way that it should never backfire you. Plus you also tell in such a way that how we are learning to overcome it. For example, uh, I can basically tell that there are two major weaknesses of mine. I'm a first person. I get angry very quickly. And in order to handle my angriness, I try to practice meditation. That's how I try to overcome my weakness. Got it. So in an interview, it will be super impressive. They're like, oh, that's great. Everyone is just telling the weakness, but only this particular guy is telling his weakness. Plus he's telling how you need to really apply in your life. That is how you try to master any interviews. And I will legit tell you such interviews will always be remembering you how we're basically trying to answer for the same. Is that clear? No, second kind of weakness, you know, which I genuinely like to tell you, I do not know much foreign language, but how I'm just taking up an initiative to learn a foreign language so that I can basically help me in terms of getting jobs at later stage. This is also weakness. Okay. A weakness is something which should not backfire. You. For example, when you say that I'm not a very effective, productive person, I get lazy very quickly. That person will really doubt should they really select you because it's going to be a big loss for that university. Okay. I'm not telling in specific to Christ, but generally any interviews in your life, you need to keep this thing in your mind. Is that clear? Okay. So now I will, uh, I have a very special guest over here. So, yeah. So Renata will share a few insights on about how to prepare for how to clear for the interview and all. So speaking about Renata, a background. So, uh, so she actually, she is basically the university head and an amazing person, uh, which I've basically been worked with. So Renata during when I was a USC a university student council head. So she was actually one of the, one of my amazing SC member. She was working under me. So now she's a university head now. And she's also the core intern for one of the central government projects which we've been working. We we just like throughout the day we've been working for a couple of NGOs, government related projects, and we're just doing it together. And Renata is just going to give you a few insights how we need to basically prepare for the interview and few insights. Renata, so people are here super tense. So thank you for coming over here. Really grateful. And yeah, yeah, you can. It's all of us for uh, yeah. Good evening, everyone. I'm Renata. I'm pursuing my third year of law somehow. And I'm really glad I got this opportunity to address you all today. I mean, it's a great opportunity that Pra uh, Pavan has created for you all. Back in my day, we just watched uh, Pavan's YouTube videos, and that's how I am here today. Um, I mean, I don't have a lot of. Uh, firstly, disclaimer: I I'm not going to be uh, addressing anything that Pavan hasn't already told you in the beginning sessions, but just a little bit of uh, reiterating here and there. I just wanted to. Okay, firstly, how many of you all are nervous with regard to your interview? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nervousness is a great sign. It's a good sign. It's it's good to an extent, but don't let it over consume you. See, I will tell you from my perspective, confidence is the key. The interviewers will throw throw questions at you. But it all depends on how well you tackle the question, even if you don't know what you're saying. Regardless of what you're saying, it's about how well you're tackling the question. So it doesn't matter if you know the question or not. All right. Confidence is the key, but don't be too confident, but just know how to go about your way around it. That's one thing. And second is about uh, etiquette. So this is another important thing. So, you know, the interviewers are also humans and the way you behave, very small things from the way you enter, how you address them, the way you sit, everything depends, uh, everything. De um, so, uh, so, so when you come, in, when you enter a interview room, right, you just don't go directly sit there. So you ask them if you can sit. That's one uh, that will earn you brownie points. And that's something that I've always done. And it brings a little smile on the interviewer's face that says that, yeah, OK, you respect me. You know what humbleness is. You know what respect is. Um, that's a uh, second thing. And thirdly, uh, like Pavan was uh, telling you all about your strengths and weakness that you need to address, that's another thing, that you need to be self-aware about yourself. 
right? So when you're going to say your strengths and weaknesses, the questions that they're going to ask you, mostly it will depend about what you, about the answers that you give. So uh, one of the blunders that I made uh, in my interview was that um, I prepared for CLAT. CLAT is, uh, I mean, uh, are there only law students here or every other department, every other department, yes. right? So CLAT is basically uh, the top exam for law entrance, uh, for law entrance colleges. So that's like uh, JE for law, all right? So I was, uh, at that time I was preparing for CLAT, but I wasn't genuinely preparing. I was just on paper, I was preparing for CLAT. So they asked me if I was preparing for CLAT in my uh, interview. And I very confidently, and I told them, yes, I thought uh, it would be an influencing factor. And I told them, yeah. And then started asking me all these uh, technical questions. And then I couldn't answer any of it. And they, and after that, they asked me, you said you were preparing for CLAT, right? And that's when it hit me. I shouldn't have told them if I wasn't confident enough in my concepts. So th there are stuff like this that you should keep it in your mind when you're answering. So if you're not confident about something, just don't go over there. Just be yourself and just say w whatever you, you think you know well, whatever you're confident about. And I think that's about it. It's all about in that five minutes in that room, how you behave, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself regardless of what you say. But just, yeah, do know your content, your GK, a little bit of here and there. Uh, I was asked uh, who the railway minister was. So I think you guys should also know who the railway minister. <laughs> Can someone say who the railway minister of India is <laughs> right now? <laughs> Nobody knows. So yeah, I think it's better you all look it up. <laughs> um. Yeah, and also one more more important thing that I wanted to let you all know. So when you're going for the interview, right, just do a little research about the university, your department, what initiatives you've done, whatever the department has done so far, like whatever is available in the university, a little bit of research if you've done about university and you just slightly subtly put it out there in, in the interview. They So the interviewers will know that you're genuinely interested in joining Christ, that you've done your research, that you're okay, uh, that you're interested I want to join and you're a genuine uh, candidate so that's one thing yeah and um, that's about it if there are any questions I can take it up <laughs> sir uh, could you please check the whatsapp DM sir questions are coming there okay I don't know uh... okay fine sir. I'll just check it Huh, okay, done. Perfect. Guys, any, any, yeah, any doubts? Yeah, Renta, sorry, sir, you were telling something? Uh, no, sorry, Sabrina had her hands raised, so I think uh -huh. I'm not sure. Sabrina? <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Ashwini. <laughs> Very good. Ashwini, Ashwini. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Renita. Thank you once again. Truly grateful yes. for coming up. Bye-bye. Just really yes, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really blessed to actually have you for everything. But thank you so much for. I hope this was insightful. Yes. It is always insightful. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. much. Yeah, really great. Okay, thanks. Peace. So now coming back to our own uh, major discussion, there is about. Yeah. So next is about we learned about the strength and weakness aspect now, mm -hmm. and as Renita was telling, it's very much important for all of you to focus now onto the important parameters about what, as I said, be very honest. Things if you know, just tell very clearly that, yes, I know that with this particular answer. If I do not know, just tell legit, tell that, sorry, so I'm not sure about it. I'll read upon it. Is that clear? Okay, perfect. So uh, I think I'll just go in one particular flow. Chetan, uh, you want to share your insights? Anything to the people who are, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Chetan also, round one, Around one for the Christ, he'll share a few insights. Yeah, Chetan, over to you. Yes, sir. Uh, guys, uh, in interview is just a, uh, the interview is all about, you know, like focusing on the minute things. It's not a rocket science or something. It's just a minute things which we really need to focus on. And most of them miss it out. Okay. So we'll have to have a complete focus and confidence at the main point. Okay. And uh, while you enter, you should be as kind as possible. 
as ample ample as possible okay you just can't go there and sit and just throw the documents in front of them you'll have to be polite sweet and in a relaxed manner don't hurry okay if they are hurrying even you at that moment you should be calm okay for the very first point okay and uh, just uh, don't go and just blabber okay uh, just keep controlling your tongue because uh, while telling we won't we'll be in a flow okay after then we'll realize we shouldn't have uh, talked about this topic or answered like uh, this question so keep control over your tongue and then uh, nothing else uh, just be confident not overconfident also that's the only major thing okay and uh, just follow the pattern okay don't mess it up like well there, for example if you are giving a micro presentation don't give introduction at the end and conclusion at the beginning so keep that in mind and uh, go with the flow in order okay that's it if there is any doubt uh, you can go ahead perfect thanks yetan thank you so much uh, vishal is there yes sir hello ah uh, vishal yeah you want to share your insights so uh, yeah, so yeah. chetan and vishal shared in the round one so yeah just see the progression from how yeah. so like, okay, yeah. they are the best to speak about it. yeah vishal over to you yes so hi guys i'm vishal uh, actually i played for bsc data science and i, I got into first round so i'm going to just share my experience so basically uh, i just started preparing a few months ago and uh, actually the one thing i did was the micro presentation i did really great uh, in the sense like i i took two topics every day and i practiced with uh, with my parents with my friends and uh, known people and then like every day constantly without like uh, even skipping out the sundays even so that preparation uh, actually helped me a lot uh, in my interview and then about the self introduction i framed it and then i just start like whenever i am just free i used to think of my introduction the basic questions everything keeps on going in my mind and in that way like uh, i was just super like very confident in whatever uh, questions they ask so so i just uh, prepared maximum questions like what they can ask like i prepared the answers for that and then in that way uh, it was actually helpful uh, like one thing i want to say is that prepare well like constant preparation is needed actually and last minute tips uh, that i would suggest is that uh, like prepare the previous year questions like i got even the previous year questions for my micro presentation as well so that's why uh, it was very easy for me in the uh, inter uh, interview round and for my entrance uh, i used some uh, free websites as well for uh, preparation and basic uh, calculations that's it and uh, i think uh, all of them can do actually even if we can get and uh, that like everyone can get also so yeah uh, yes so that's all thank you so much vishal and chetan great insights you know i think uh, they are the best of my interns actually now and uh, yeah yeah they're doing an amazing job baki i just want to tell uh, just one one in matter for if you are this one preparation one skin there is yeah perfect now starting with the next important aspect that is about we'll be focusing on the next important area i hope now all of you got an idea about your strength and weakness now the third important question which they can ask, they can ask is about where do you see yourself 3 years or 5 years down the line at that situation you can just tell yourself for example if i am a person who is basically been preparing for uh, a three years course or four years course for example let it be about uh, let me tell i am preparing for psychology course so three years down the line i see myself being a psychologist simple answer psychologist and looking out for different kind of opportunities this would be a basic kind of aspect basic kind of answer i would like to see myself working as a psychologist within the domain of clinical clinical domain or for example if you are a bcom student then you can say that i would have been secured my placement in so and so particular company now why are they asking this particular question what is a psychologist because they want to see how much kind of visionary knowledge do you have that means what how much kind of visionary knowledge means what that means how much clarity does this person have about future goal okay that is reason just assume yourself 3 years or 5 years down the line where you are going to be very important tonight itself i want all of you to find it out what is going to be your ultimate goal post 3 years or 5 years down the line so that you get a little more clarity in your interview and interview will feel like okay this person has some kind of purpose for choosing that particular goal